Nebraska came to town. They gave us a really good challenge. And it took us to the fourth quarter to get away from them. They was the number 10 team in the country. But we managed to pull off another W. Go 2-1 on the season. Our undefeated season is still alive. And so was our win streak. But let's go up to Pie Bluff, Arkansas. A place that you rarely ever hear about. So the Baylor Bears are in town of the Big 12. And they're being hosted by the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions. And they got a very interesting running back in their backfield. You see the numbers for both teams. It looks like Baylor. Oh, this is Baylor's first game of the season so far. So as you see, Arkansas Pine Bluff starts the season off at 1-0. They are looking to get into the win column for the first time this season. Let's get into the action. So there goes the impact player running back, Ryan Hall, going up the gut. Look at that broken tackle, and he's off to the races. Look at that run right there by Ryan Hall. Touchdown, Arkansas Pine Bluff. They strike first. Breaking tackles. Look at that spin break tackle right there, and it's off to the races after that. Great job by Ryan Hall. So we got a third and eight situation. There goes the toss play to Ryan Hall. He's going to take it up the right side, get past the first down mark, and get the ball inside the five-yard line. Already approaching 100 yards on just seven carries. Hand off. Ryan Hall breaks a tackle again. Touchdown, Arkansas Pine Bluff. Wow, this man's a beast, man. Already two touchdowns accountable for all their points. So Baylor's on offense. Draw play with play fake, and that's picked off. Oh, look at that move right there. You see the hip movement, you see the genius in Gore's ankles. So eventually, that will lead to a field goal, and that kick is good. The lead is now 17 to nothing, in favor of UAPB. So now, we got a situation on fourth and two. Baylor are forced to punt deep in their own territory. And guess who it is? Ryan Hall fielding it. Ryan Hall taking it up the left side, past the 50 inside Baylor territory. And he's taking that thing all the way back to the crib. He said, watch my dust. The man said, watch my dust, touchdown, UAPB. So at their own 21 yard line, there goes, oh, take that back, it's a handout once again to Ryan Howell, going up the gut, breaking all them tackles, going into Baylor territory, finally brought down. Look at that hell of a run by Ryan Hall. Shotgun set, quarterback steps back the pass, breaks a tackle, runs off, takes off to the right side, goes up past the 30, breaks a tackle inside the 20, gets near the 10 yard line, Smith, you are an absolute beast with the football. And, oh, play fake again. They love to play fake, Arkansas Pie Bluff. Pops it, that, oh, it's caught. It got caught off a deflection. Did you see that right there? Wow. So that would lead to another three points. It is now 27 to nothing. Baylor got called for offside, so they declined that. So now UAPB got the ball again. This time it's an option play. Quarterback's going to pitch it off to Ryan Hall. Ryan Hall gets it inside the 30. First down, tackled around the 25-yard line. And they didn't do much on that play. So now here goes Baylor finally getting into the end zone for the first time today. But they will be well short of what they need to get a win. Arkansas Pine Bluff gets their first win of the season. An excellent performance by Ryan Hall. Three total touchdowns, two on the ground, one on special teams on a punt return. Baylor starts the season at 0-1. So there goes us beating Nebraska by two possessions. Texas beats Texas Southern 34-10. Missouri beats Mississippi Valley State 44-7. Just put a spliff in Mississippi Valley State. Clemson beat Grambling State in overtime. Grambling State actually had a chance to pull off a big upset. We saw Baylor lose to Arkansas Pine Bluff. And then you see Alcorn State lose to the number three Oklahoma 45-21. Southern lost to San Diego State 28-25. And then on top of that, down in Tallahassee, you got Florida beating Florida A&M 37-7, number one team in the country. Fresno State lose, well, beats Bethune Cookman 28-18. Nice fight by the Wildcats. Alabama A&M 0-2 after losing to Southern Miss 41-38. They actually had a chance to win that game, only a three-point loss. Purdue beats Prairie View A&M 38-13. We play them next week. Jackson State beats a and 45-7. Wow. Jackson State's not playing around. So in the mid, Delaware State loses to NC State. Morgan State loses to Howard. Howard is balling so far this year. Illinois beats Tennessee State 31-17. Out there in Virginia, Hampton beats UCLA in overtime 37-34. 
And then you got South Carolina State beating Washington 27 to 12. Dang. Now you have Marshall beating Norfolk State 31 20. And of course, we saw Jackson State being AT. So now let's look at the Heisman watch list. So we got two people that popped up now Jason Davis of Michigan, Junior Redshirt quarterback, Patrick Collier of Alabama State coming in at second place. Had a nice stellar performance. Up there in Columbus, Ohio, you got the wide receiver by the name of Jeremy Johnson. He has eight receptions and half of those went for touchdowns so far. Crazy. Justin Frankie Beverly Mays pops back up. 34 carries, 325 touchdowns, and of course some receptions. Jake Patrick of Texas Tech rounds out the top five right now. He moved down. So let's look at the players of the week. So nationally, Justin Richardson, running back of Howard, had a great game, 21 carries, 225, three tutties, along with 103 receiving yards. My goodness, over 300 all-purpose yards. In the sweat, we got Brian Murphy of Jackson State and Jerome Stewart of Alabama A&M winning Offensive and Defensive Players of the Week. Look at the numbers on Murphy. Murphy is balling so far this year. 408 yards on 37 attempts, five total touchdowns. Stewart had 12 tackles, five for loss, a sack, a INT, and a forced fumble, dog. And I forgot to see who won. Miak, Defensive Player of the Week. My bad. I'll do better next time. So, join us next time. We got another top 10 matchup. This time, it's from a team in the Big Ten. We're taking on the Purdue Boilermakers in the Battle of the Black and Gold Part 2. It's going to be a very interesting game. Two very good offenses at that. Join us next time. Peace.